What's up guys, this is Tech It Out, and today I'm going to be showing you how to jailbreak your iPhone, iPad, or iPod Touch running iOS 9.3.5 with no PC required. So, let's get right into it. So first off, if you want to know what all devices ran iOS 9.3.5, I will have listed them down in the description below. And if you're not sure what iOS version you're running, you can go into Settings, General, and About, and it will show the iOS version right there. As you can see, we're running iOS 9.3.5. So that means that we are able to jailbreak this device. So now what you're going to do is go to the first link in the description at jailbreaks.app/legacy.html. And this will take you to this website here, and we're going to be using the Phoenix jailbreak. You can also use the Polaris jailbreak, I believe, but Phoenix has proven to be reliable for me time and time again, so that's what I'll be using. So you just click on it, hit install, then you should be able to go out here and you'll see it downloading there. Alright, and as you can see, the app has finished installing, so we're going to go into settings, go general. Scroll down to where you see device management and then you see Mylan Inc or whatever it is. It may change depending on when you do this and just hit trust. Trust again. Alright and now you should actually be able to open the app. Alright so as you can see it says your iPad 2.5 is not jailbroken so now we just hit prepare for jailbreak. Now it is possible that this app will crash a few times that did used to happen from time to time. Now we just hit proceed with jailbreak. Now we hit begin installation. Hit use provided offsets. If uh, for whatever reason it doesn't work you can hit specify custom offsets. I'll show you how to do that in just a moment. It's totally normal to get this storage almost full sign uh, even if your storage isn't almost full. Now your device should reboot. Alright, so the iPad is booted up here, and as you can see, we have Cydia on the home screen. And there we go, we are now jailbroken on iOS 9.3.5. Alright, so one thing to keep in mind is this is what's called a semi-untethered jailbreak, meaning anytime you reboot the device, the jailbreak will not be active. Of course, you can still use your device normally, it just won't be jailbroken. I just restarted the iPad just to show you, Cydia won't boot up. So anytime that we want to fix this, you go back into the Phoenix app and you click Kickstart Jailbreak. So we can use the provided offsets, but for some reason if it just crashes, what we have to do is specify custom offsets. Okay, so to set custom offsets, keep in mind you can skip this part and just hit use provided offsets. But in case that doesn't work, you can go down here to where it says offsets and you will see the offsets per what device you have. So I have an iPad mini, so I'm going to hit this first one. And then you literally just select all, copy it. And then go back to the Phoenix app. Hit specify custom offsets. And paste right there. So now I just hit done and save. And now it should jailbreak your device. Um, once again, I know I've said this, but keep in mind, you may not ever have to set a custom offset. This is just for some reason if when you hit use provided offsets, the app just crashes and it doesn't work. So after this, the device should respring and Cydia will be working again. Alright, and as you can see, after the respring, Cydia is back up and running. So thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, go ahead and drop a like and subscribe to my channel. And if you have any questions or comments, leave them down in the comments below and I'll try to get to them as soon as I can. I am very aware that typically these uh, methods that don't require a PC tend to stop working after a couple months or so just because uh, sometimes the websites that host these apps will go down um, and there's not really anything I can do about that. However, I will also link in the description uh, a version that I make with a PC it's less convenient but if this version stops working there will be a way for you guys to still jailbreak iOS 9.3.5 with a PC so with that in mind I hope that you enjoyed this video uh, please subscribe to my channel and I'll catch you in the next video